Hello everybody and welcome to our NCAA Football 14 Dynasty Mode here with the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. The reason you're not seeing a game, ladies and gentlemen, is because in mid-third quarter, we were losing. I promise I do not rage quit. You guys already know that we will take the L. We were losing by, I think, what, 15 it was? And... Either the Xbox like shut off and turned back on, or the cord came unplugged. I don't know what happened, but li listen, we simmed it because we're not redoing it. We're not going to re-record it for you guys. I want you to know the first time out what happened, and we ended up still losing 27-17. So, we're in week 15. It is our bye week. It's a bye week for everybody, and unfortunately, the Clemson game, Wake Forest did lose in Death Valley, but... Kudos to the boys. Eight and four eight and four season. Um just just an awesome feeling that Wake Forest is finally a threat in the ACC. Not just the Atlantic, not just in the coastal, but all in NCAA football. We beat FSU, we beat Notre Dame, we beat teams that we really shouldn't have any business playing against. And we've beat them. Majority of them away in the other team's homes. So kudos to the boys in the old black and or the old gold and black. And um, yeah, what we're going to do, just take a look. Heisman, bowl projections, we'll sim it to probably the bowl week or the screen before the bowl game. And then next time out, we will play the bowl game. Uh, right now, I can say the Demon Deacons at 8 and 4 are projected right now by College Football 14 standards to go into the Hyundai Sun Bowl against the Stanford Cardinals. So, could this be our first bowl of the dynasty that we win? We've been into. We've been in the Music City Bowl against LSU, I believe second year in. And then, I cannot remember the second bowl game. Let's go look at that right now, though, guys. Let's go look at that. Uh, we would go where... Um, would we go to contracts, or where would we go? I know it's somewhere around here. Coach contracts. It has to be here, because it shows you, yeah, okay. Um, uh, okay, it's not going to show a bowl game. Thought it would show the bowl game, but yeah, 2014, we went to the Music City Bowl, lost to LSU. 2016, I honestly can't remember who we played, we lost, obviously, but look at this, guys, two years in a row. All of a sudden, eight-win team, our contract ends up in two years. We'll, uh, we'll probably play through until we get either the ACC title or the national championship because I really want an Xbox One, but I know you guys want to see college football. Trust me, it's not going anywhere until we win a, a top, top prestige with this school. So, guys, buckle in, sit down, let's get into it. Again, Wake Forest finished 8-4, and four, and we will check out their schedule right now, who they won, who they beat. Obviously, NC State, Clemson, two of the losses. But if we go to the team, we started off 1-2. and two. FCS really didn't count. Then we played at Rice. They beat us 51-34. They finished 7-5, so not a bad loss. Penn State, not a bad loss as well. 7-5, 50-28. And then from there, we just we just uh, own the ACC. Eastern Michigan, Duke in overtime. Virginia, BC in overtime. Syracuse, FSU, who ended up finishing 7-5. Maryland, we should have beat. Clemson, yeah, different story. Should have lost that game. And then, of course, NC State finishes 3-9 and nine with a win. Definitely should have beat them. We should be 9-3. and three. But, guys, even though we didn't win the ACC Atlantic because of the tiebreaker over Clemson, you know what? You can't take anything away from these guys. They played their hearts out, and they showed it in, what, the seven-game stretch right here? Yeah, seven-game win streak. So, you can't really talk bad about them. Top 25 polls. Wake Forest to go into NC State at Winston-Salem at bb and Field. 28th, I believe. Well, other receiving votes because of the NC State game. That's a terrible loss. 
Wake Forest now drops out of the top 30. We'll check where they are in just a second. As for the conference standings, it didn't matter what Clemson did against South Carolina. And, oh boy, they lost. Their second loss of the season did come to South Carolina. In South Carolina. So, again, it wouldn't matter because tiebreaker Clemson over us. Hey, co-owner of the ACC Atlantic, maybe we play them again. I don't know how that would work out, but I'm pretty sure they would go on and we would not play. But, guys, second on the ACC Atlantic. ACC as a whole. Wake Forest finishes fifth. Of course, Va Tech, Georgia Tech, Miami from the Coastal. All very, very, very good teams. And then it's well a mix at that point. You have FSU, UNC, BC, NC State, Duke, Pittsburgh, Syracuse, Maryland, and Virginia, your two worst teams in the ACC this year. Remember year one? Wake Forest was that team. Now look where we are. Heisman Watch, your favorite to win it. JT Barrett out of the Ohio State University. He's a redshirt senior this year from First Colony, Texas. 99 overall. They just played Michigan. They won that game 48-21. Ty Isaac probably will not win. But guess what? Championship game, it's the Ohio State Buckeyes against the USC Trojans. So leave your comments down and see who you want to win in that game. We'll take a look at the bowl projections and the actual bowls at the end. Award finalists and championship contenders. Let's see where Wake Forest dropped to after that dismal loss. 44th, yeah, we went from like 28th to 44th, but good news, we can keep these seasons up, we will be in the top 25 in no time, so award finalists, and then we will take a look at some quick stats for Wake Forest, uh, JT Barrett leads the Maxwell, Walter Camp goes to JT Barrett as well, Saquon Jefferson for the Bednark, Nagurski goes to Alex Alonzo or Enzalone. I don't know how you say that. O'Brien, JT Barrett, Walker, Desmond Wortham for the boys in Old Gold and Black finish your sword. You're not going to beat out USC, and you're probably not going to beat out Michigan State, but what Desmond Wortham has done for us this year's redshirt senior, absolutely amazing. Belenikoff goes to Tanner Shipley for Boise State. Tyler Wright from Illinois at tight end for the Mackey. Allen Knott for the Outland Remington. Allen Knott. Lombardi. William Miranda from Illinois. Linebacker goes to the guy we're not going to pronounce from Florida. Thorpe. Eric Byers with a couple key interceptions this year. He finishes eighth. Jefferson from Vatek brings home the Thorpe. Groza. King. Adam King. I think I've been calling him Alexander King. I think it's Alexander the punter. Now Holly, North Carolina getting represented. 69 overall sophomore. He's got a leg on him, guys. Adam King can make some clutch ones for the Groza. The Guy Award, Jimmy Roberts, best punter, best returner. Wayne Haynes, he is a sophomore red shirt from South Gastonia, North Carolina. 85 overall. He is he, He's 6'1", 224, but man, does he run slow. You guys have seen his returns on the kickoff. Let's go ahead and take a look at very, very quick stats. Uh, Dustin Thomas finishes 61st in the nation at passing 2,440 yards. Rushing leaders, Desmond Wortham, oh, so close to getting the rushing title this year in his final year of college ball. 1381, he gets beat out by White for Georgia Tech from 1,500 yards. So, can't take it away from him. He had a really good year. Receiving leaders. Terry Harris leads the way at 246 in the nation, 530 yards. Tackle leaders, it's all Wake Forest. Ford Howe, um, William Dunn, D. Smith, I can't remember his first name, 125. They almost swept the board. Proud of those guys on the D-line. Sack leaders, Ford Wright, or Fred Wright, I think it's Fred Wright though, 63rd with six sacks. Miranda, yeah, you're not being that from Illinois, 13 and a half sacks. That's NFL numbers. Eric Byers, 23rd in the nation for interceptions. We said we had a key number with him. He had five. Kicking leaders, Adam King. He's not going to make anyone notice him crazy. 99th in the nation among uh, qualifying kickers. Sorry, 43-yard field goal was his longest. Oregon, 
Notre Dame, Arkansas, Vata takes on that, and Washington, all of 56. And that's your quick stat. So let's go ahead. Let's advance to the conference championship week. We'll take a look at that. Then we'll advance. It'll pop up the Heisman, I'm pretty sure, before this. So we're seeing it all, guys. We are seeing it all. And if you guys enjoyed this season of Wake Forest football and you are not subscribed yet, at this time, click that subscribe button. Click the little bell for a notification. You get a video a day, Monday through Friday. And it's now past Christmas. So, guys, hope you guys had a good Christmas. And, again, I'm still debating whether to get the Xbox One. I know you guys love college football. It's embedded in this channel. It has made the channel what it is today and got noticed. So, it's not going to go away for a long time because, well, let's face it, Wake Forest. Yeah, we're threatening in the ACC, but the winner of the ACC, they get to go to the Orange Bowl. So, I mean... You give and take relationship, love and hate. It really is. Team news, nothing we really care about. We did find a bust. Woo, 25 XP. We're still advancing, and here we go, guys. Let's take a look at this stuff. Heisman standings, conference standings. It's going to be Clemson, and it is going to be Vatek in the ACC. Obviously, we would want Virginia Tech to win just because Clemson beat us, just because Clemson was the team that separated us from the conference championship game. So, go Hokies. Hope you guys win. Heisman Watch, we're still looking at JT Barrett. He is still leading. No one's going to move. We have Akron in here. We have Miami, South Carolina. We have some schools you should not be in here. You should not. The only halfback, Ty Isaac, I would like for the upset to happen, but... JT Barrett, hell of a guy, and uh, he'll probably win that right there. So, full projections. We were in the Hyundai Sun Bowl. Let's see if that has changed against Stanford. No, it has not. December 31st at 2 p.m., the uh, second of four bowl games on the 31st. Guys, leave your projections in the comments below if we get that bowl. We are now going to advance to bowl season. We are still projected with the Hyundai Sun Bowl against the Stanford Cardinals. Excuse me. Um, this will be our third bowl game. Second in consecutive years. So we are making marks on college football, on the ACC, and it really just anywhere else that is related to football. So you didn't think Wake Forest could go in four. Certainly didn't think they could get three bowl games in what is now five years under... Coach Mathis is a head coach. We took it over, struggled, we built it up, knocked us down again, we came back up, and now we're higher than ever. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video so far, leave a like, share it, do whatever you feel is necessary. And, uh, yeah, my voice is killing me, but that's not going to stop us from making these good videos for Wake Forest. Um, Wake Forest, I guess, backstory, why we picked them. Should have said this in the first episode. Uh, my mom worked there. I was born in North Carolina, and it was the closest one. We actually went to some Wake Forest games, sat on the hill. It was really cool. Heisman, JT Barrett, he wins it like we said. Ty Isaac actually drops to third. Um, that's a shocker, but first place votes, yeah. JT Barrett, 469 of them totally. 1,928 votes. Your winner by over 800 votes, JT Barrett. So congratulations to him, and there we go, guys. We actually change opponents. We get the Oregon Ducks. We do still play in the Hyundai Sun Bowl in El Paso, Texas at 2 p.m., but guys, there's the records right there. 8-4, and four, week 4, 6-2 and two in conference play, only losing to NC State and Clemson. Oregon, 7-6 and six overall, 6-4 six and four in their respective conference. And uh, it should be fun. The Demon Deacons and the Ducks. I guess Oregon's the home team. They showed them second. So, hey, we're just another team on the road. And, guys, it's going to look really, really fun. Let's see the bowl games officially. We'll take a look at the BCS Bowls. And, uh, obviously, everything probably past ours because we are up there. So, let's start. In the Autism Liberty Bowl, Georgia, FIU, 25th in the nation. Good job, Florida International. Chick-fil-A Bowl, Ole Miss, Georgia Tech, Hearted Dallas Bowl, 
Tulsa, Kansas. Ew. That's such a bad bowl, guys. I don't know why. Gator Bowl. Gator Bowl, sorry. Auburn, Michigan. That should be a fun one. Alabama, not in the national championship. Win 10 and 3. Right? That's a shocker. They play in the Capital One Bowl against Michigan State. Go Spartans. Outback Bowl, Texas A&M versus Illinois. Sure, why not? Nebraska, LSU in the famous Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California. Uh, LSU, we played them in year one. I wouldn't be mad to see them lose Nebraska. Hope you win that. Fiesta Bowl, TCU, San Diego State. San Diego State, love you guys there over in Aztec country. Hope you win. South Carolina, Vodtech in the All-State Sugar Bowl. We, uh, we want ACC to represent, so Virginia Tech, Clemson, Houston, and the Discover Orange Bowl. Houston, I hope you guys win. Something you couldn't do in real life in the bowl season, but uh, hopefully here, you know, pretty similar record, let's be honest. Hope you guys can get it done against Clemson. Florida Baylor in the Cotton Bowl. BBVA Compass Bowl, Western Kentucky, Connecticut, Akron, UL Monroe in the GoDaddy.com Bowl, and then the National Championship, USC, University of Southern California, and the Ohio State University. But guys, USC, you guys need to win there in California and bring home a trophy besides the Giants. So guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Next time out, we will be in El Paso, Texas for the uh, Hyundai Sun Bowl. Almost forgot the name. Against the Oregon Ducks. We'll see you there. Take care.